Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you an update on what was going on. So over the last week I have moved house and therefore everything has just been up in the air and crazy and I haven't managed to get the design run video for this week done. So there's going to be no video on Friday, which is today. So there's going to be no video out today, that's going to be this video instead. Um, I mentioned in my about the channel video that I wasn't super keen on releasing videos if they weren't in a state that I was happy with. And this week's video was supposed to be on low poly geometry in Assassin's Creed and I was fiddling with some videos and it just wasn't coming together and I wasn't happy with it. And it was, there was pauses and stutters and much like what's happening at the moment in throughout the whole video that I can't edit out. And so I've decided, screw it, we're gonna scrap that. I will come back on Saturday and I'll go through what I've got and I'll rejig it and I'll do a proper script and I'll make sure that the video is up to the standard of quality that I'm happy with. So I thought instead of doing a video today and instead of just saying you don't get a video, you have to wait until tomorrow, um, I thought I might do a what I have been playing video instead. So this is something that I've been uh, toiling with as an idea for the channel for a little while now uh, just as a means of getting more content on the channel it can be a lot more informal which means I have the opportunity for my personality to come through a little bit better you can see the sort of games that I like which would be a good thing in terms of what might bias my opinions or the things that will eventually come out in videos in the future um, hopefully I can point you in the direction of some good games that you guys might want to play or some interesting mechanics in games that are out there and just all around we can just have more game design content and talk more about games. So I thought that would be a good idea, something that I could probably put up on the channel and might as well give it a run now since I don't have a video to release. So what have I actually been playing? I did play a bunch of Rhyme. Now Rhyme is a third person puzzle game by a development company called Tequila Works. Now Tequila Works brought out a game back in 2012 called Deadlight which was a survival horror and then just looking at the Wikipedia page uh, in 2017 they also brought out, they had a gap, didn't bring anything out since 2012 and then they had a, they brought out The Sexy Brutale and a game called The Invisible Hours. Um, the Sexy Brutale is another one that I have heard is quite a good game, so I guess we're dealing with a bit of design pedigree here. And Rhyme is a third person puzzle game where you run around on an island that you have washed up on the beach of as a little boy. And there's no dialogue, it's all about spatial puzzles and interacting with objects in the game. Um, as you can see it's kind of got like a cell shaded -y sort of aesthetic and uh, the only sort of people that you interact with is there's this fox for a good portion of the start that you eventually free from this uh, statue early on and then you kind of follow him through the game and there's a bunch of different types of uh, spatial puzzles like lining things up or putting all this orb in certain places and things like that. So yeah, really, um, really sort of standard uh, high level indie 3D third person game, um, quite good. It's interesting because from the start of the game you start walking around and you see this man in certain places. So you're walking around on this island and you have no idea what's going on because you just washed up on the beach, but there's this guy that watching you from random places that you have no idea who he is. So there's kind of a little bit of intrigue there as well. It's interesting. Um, I think it's relatively short. I played through what I what I feel like is quite a bunch of it in a couple of hours. So um, hopefully I'll be able to finish that at some point soon because I was enjoying it. I, I didn't, I got a little bit behind on the collectibles and then sort of just stopped bothering with the collectibles and then just started following the critical path. But I'm pretty keen. I'm enjoying it. It's uh, it's a good, um, it's a good soft experience with fantastic music. That's just pleasant to sort of wander through the world and work things out. And that if you just need to, not have to worry about anything that's too intense. And then the other thing that I've probably been playing a bunch of is Assassin's Creed Origins. So Assassin's Creed Origins is uh, the newest game in the Assassin's Creed franchise. Uh, no duh, it's 
great. It is fantastic. Um, you've probably seen a bunch of little snippets of the gameplay in various previous videos that I've made, and it's awesome. It's so good. They've completely redone the combat system so that now instead of it being... Uh, I watched a bunch of behind-the-scenes footage, and they were talking previously. It was what they called a partnered partnered system, I think, which basically means you, when you attack, you and the enemy would close the distance between each other and then both have a preset animation that you would play, and then once that animation finished playing, well, you could act again. Whereas this now is hitbox-based, which means you can swing whenever you want. Nothing will, like, glide towards you. You won't come closer to an enemy or anything like that. But when you swing... It means that you can swing nor uh, and you can swing and miss. It means that you can swing whenever you want to, and it also means that you can swing if you have a weapon, and then of which there's different types, and you can potentially catch multiple enemies doing it this way. It is so much better. There's a block. There's heavy and light attacks. There's various different weapons. There's bows. It's it's awesome. It's phenomenal. Um, I haven't played Assassin's Creed for quite a while, but this one is much much better than uh, the sort of monotony that it started to get into. Um, the world is gigantic. It's a huge open world like they normally are, um, but it's got a quest system which I think is not very standard for Assassin's Creed. At least it wasn't for the ones that I've played. Um, there was like story markers that you would go to and now they've completely replaced that with a whole questing system there's a leveling system so really a lot more up my alley for games that i actually really enjoy playing and it's gorgeous and um yeah it's a heap of fun it's really intriguing some of the uh environments are stunning yeah, it's a good game. I'm really, I'm really enjoying playing it. But obviously, it's gigantic. It's like 40 hours, and so with running the channel and with full-time work and trying to maintain a social life and editing and doing all sorts of crazy stuff, it, I don't get a lot of time to to sink into it. And I'm the kind of player that really needs to like do every single side quest not too much on collectibles like they're okay i can probably let them go past because they're too much effort but i like to do every single side quest so it takes me a while to get through games that are 40 plus hours anyway hopefully that's kind of kept you busy for a little bit um i'll hopefully get the video out tomorrow for you guys that's supposed to be out today and uh thanks for being with the channel i'll talk to you tomorrow